Sugar beet harvesting is now underway after a very tricky season for growers, hit by a spring drought and then virus yellows coming into the crop. We're here in Suffolk on the Ruffham Estate, very near Bury St Edmunds, and the crop here looks pretty good. A little bit of virus yellows in it, but a good solid crop top and good root underneath. So let's go and ask the farm manager, Simon Adele, how yields are looking. Uh, well, I think my gut feeling is, is that we're going to have some very good uh, root yields, but uh, just a little bit cautious at the moment of what the, uh, what, the, what the sugars are going to be, and that can have quite an impact on the, on the adjusted sugars and adjusted yields, sorry, uh, on, the, on the whole, of the, whole okay. of the crop. There's a lot of talk this year about virus yellow, so you can see a little bit of yellowing in the leaves. Um, it hasn't been too much of a problem for you? No, I think we've been quite lucky here, just in this part of the world, but you don't have to travel very far and, uh, and there's some very yellow looking crops out there. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're lucky. Yeah, and you've got about 100, just over 100 hectares to lift. You'll be lifting those throughout the season, will you? Yeah, so we'll usually start as soon as the factory opens and we'll try and lift it in about four, four hits throughout the season. And we'll go right the way through, starting on the heavy land and then right the way through onto our lighter land where we'll probably finish at some point in the new year. The crop looks pretty good, a very good crop here. What would you say? Uh, this is very good, uh, very f rubbish free as well, which is not always the case this year. Uh, very good crop canopy um, and not too much virus yellows in it. So you've been uh, lifting for about a couple of weeks in this Bury St Edmunds factory area. I mean, how the crops looked uh, uh, of what you've seen? And we've lifted 200 hectares so far. Um, I'd say everybody are surprised by how good the yield is at the moment, what we've lifted. We just lifted a beet. Now, this looks pretty, pretty sizable beet. Absolutely, it's fantastic size beet, and uh, you can see clearly from this field, it's not a consequence of Apache uh, establishment. There's well over 100,000 plants a hectare in this field, and the farm have done an incredible job, um, you know, establishing the crop in what was a very tricky spring. True contents that we've received uh, uh, from the beet received in the factories so far is slightly down on average where we'd like to see them. They're just over 16% on average so far. Uh, you know, we, we all recall the, uh, the hugely wet uh, autumn and winter period and the challenges that put into the spring immediately followed by a drought. So actually the drought has impacted on our crop quite significantly, made the establishment of the crop very difficult. Plant populations are down as a result and that will impact on the yield. And then since then with the uh, uh, aphid migration and uh, infestation of the, the crop from aphid, and the infection of virus yellows, that will also impact on the crop. So we might be um, experience a 10 to 15% yield reduction in the, uh, this campaign in 2020.